What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion and Twin Motion comparison video for you. So in today's video, I want to do a comparison between the image export settings between the two programs. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first of all, last week I got a comment saying that at the end of these videos, I should probably be rendering them and showing you the images between the different rendering programs so that you can kind of compare the results. Um, there's a reason I'm not doing that, and the reason is because I don't want this to become a comparison of renderings that I'm creating, um, because a lot of that would have to do more with my individual ability, but also the time that we're spending on these programs. So what I'm doing instead is I'm trying to give you an in-depth comparison of the features contained inside of each program, because the features are going to be really what make what make the comparison between the two not my ability to create a rendering um, because I don't want this to become a well you didn't do this in Lumion and you did do this in twin motion that's not really the point of this series so I just wanted to say that's why I'm not doing that, but I understand where you're coming from. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the features contained inside of the way that you can set up your renderings in each program. Um, and for this, I'm using a SketchUp model from the 3D Warehouse. It's the Art Center designed by Taz1985. So you can search for this and download it and follow along if you want to uh, follow along and try any of this or if you want to do a test rendering between the two programs, um, you can bring this into both and set it up and try it for yourself. So what I wanted to focus on in this video is I wanted to focus specifically on the settings that you use in order to customize your images when you do your rendering exports. So we'll go ahead and we'll start with Lumion. And the way that you set up your export images is by going into photo mode. So you can see how you can get into photo mode by clicking on this camera right here. And so this is where you set up photo mode inside of Lumion. So basically what you do is you have slots down here for different images that you can create. So you can create different images in here for um, like night views or other things like that. This is the view that I set up for the test rendering that I did. It was kind of matching up with a Lumion rendering. Um, but what you do is you set your camera angle um, using um, the store camera button. So you can set that camera angle and you can adjust things like focal length and things like that in here as well. And then just kind of restore that in here. Um, and then what you do is you add different effects in order to adjust your camera view. So what you do is you add effects where you can adjust your lighting or things where you can adjust the weather. Those are all contained inside this button right here for add effect. So like for example, if you wanted to adjust the location of the sun, you would add a sun effect and then you can use these sliders to affect the look of the sun um, to get it kind of to look the way that you want it to look. And so you can have multiple different effects in here. And one of the nice things about Lumion is it's got this button right here for custom styles. And these styles contain custom effect stacks that come in here, which are basically stacks of um, effects that create a certain um, that create a certain kind of image. So like. So if I was to go in here and clear my effects by going to edit clear effect and then select a custom style, you can see how this is going to apply an effect stack or a number of different effects in here in order to create a certain style of image. So if I was to come in here, for example, and select a night effect, that's going to create an image that has the setting set up where it's more like night. So you can use these to kind of build on top of if you want to, or you can come in here and you can adjust these manually by adding effects by clicking on the add effect button and finding an effect in here. Um, like for example, let's say I wanted to add fog to my image. I would click on fog. And you can see how that gets added into my image inside of Lumion. So that's how you set up your images inside of Lumion. In Twin Motion, what you do instead is you go into your image settings and all of this is stored inside of your image setting down here. So you go into media mode and you click 
or you click on this button right here to go into media mode and then what you do in this case is you do something similar to Lumion in the sense that you click on this create image then you click on a button right here to create your image and that image stores your camera view in the same way that the photos inside of Lumion store your camera view and um, each one of these images contains the different settings um, in order to make this look a certain way so like for example for this first image if I wanted this to be a night scene I would just adjust this down until I get a night scene so that brings my light down so you can adjust things like your time of day and other things like that um, using each one of these images and so unlike Lumion what happens in twin motion is all of these camera settings are already contained inside of your image meaning you don't need to go through a big long list and add different effects in here um, they're all in here you just adjust them so like for example your camera settings you can adjust your field of view to make this wider or narrower depending on how you want this to look so I could adjust this kind of this way I could adjust my field of view in a little bit so I get more of my building in here and that gets saved inside of this image so all of those settings that were contained in the effects in Lumion are contained separately here so like the weather settings for example you come in here and you adjust the clouds based on the weather setting so those are all in here you just have to adjust them I would say this is probably just a bit easier for beginners because instead of having to add the different effects um, you just come in here and you just adjust things like your ambient lighting and other things like that in order to get the effect that you want so you're just adjusting sliders that are already in here and if you just start here and in here and adjust everything the way that you want you're gonna have a pretty good image now that being said Lumion's styles probably makes this just as easy for beginners in order to create a good result um, because you can just pick a style if you're trying to go fast um, like um, daytime or something like that and that'll apply that in here and I'll go ahead and I'll remove my fog and if you wanted to you could just render and export this just like this and so one nice feature that I like about the way you can do this in Lumion is you can select an image and you can actually come up here and edit and you can copy these effects between your different images so I can take that effect and I can apply that to this next image just by doing a copy paste or you can also come in here and do a file save effects and you could actually save this effect um, for use later um, in a different in a different rendering so that is one nice feature that Lumion has that twin motion at the moment doesn't there's no real way to save your settings once you get this set up now what you could do is you could set up one image and then you could come in here and you can duplicate the image and use that as kind of a starting point and then you could just come in here and adjust like your camera angle or other things like that if you wanted to um, just by clicking this little refresh button but you would um, have all of those settings copied across here that is something that I would like to see in the future is the ability to set up some presets and then um, save them so that you can access them later or at least be able to copy paste them across your different images that's something that isn't really in there at the moment um, I don't want to get too far into the actual individual settings of each program I mean obviously um, on the one hand they're different on the other hand they're very similar so your weather settings for example you could adjust this um, so that you would have like a wintertime setting or something like that um, you could do the exact same thing in Lumion you would just come in here and you would add a weather effect if I can remember where it is oh. you would just add a precipitation effect and then you can adjust if it's rainy or snowy or things like that using these sliders so both of them have the features in here you just access them a little bit differently um, but you could really kind of act, um, make that change with either one so I will link to some videos down below on some more specific like um, some more specific tutorials on the actual individual image settings themselves this video I wanted to focus more on just how you create your renderings so what you do in both programs is you go in and you set up your settings inside of your image mode or your photo mode and then what you do is you go down and in twin motion you click on this button right here and you find your image so in this case this would be my image one copy and Once you find this, you go in here and you just click start export and you just find the location that you want to export this to. 
So in this case, you would just select a folder and you would export this, and this is gonna export to that folder. Um, within Lumion, what you would do is once you get your settings kind of set up the way you want them to be, you'd click on the render photo button, you'd click on the resolution that you would like for your image, and then you would just find that same folder and you would name your image and then this would give you kind of a preview as it's rendering this image so it's gonna go ahead and preview this for you as you render so you can kind of see what that's gonna look like so I guess that is a nice thing about Lumion is you can see this as it goes where within twin motion once it exports this it just kind of brings you back to this image it doesn't give you an option to go to that folder or anything like that so that is a little bit different between the two um, but they basically do the same thing so as kind of an overall analysis, first of all, I find both of these fairly easy to use once you know where everything is. I don't think it's super complicated or anything like that. Um, I will say at the moment, probably the two things that I would like to see in Twin Motion that I don't see that I am seeing in Lumion is the ability to save these settings. And if you guys know how to save these settings, let me know, but I haven't found a way to do it. Um, but being able to save these settings and load them inside of another image would be super helpful. I would also like to have some preset effects inside of Twin Motion so that you can kind of build to a starting point instead of having to come in here and adjust all of these manually. Um, you know, just kind of like Lumion has where you can just uh, select a dawn or a daytime or something like that and make that adjustment. Um, I would say Lumion has more options for different things and different effects that you can create, um, but I think the user interface of Twin Motion would probably be a little bit easier for beginners, which I think is what they're going for. I think they're going for really accessible and really easy to use, and I think that this is that. So I, I think there's pluses and minuses to each one. If you're going to do ultra customization, I think there's a few more options in Lumion at the moment, but as always, we're not 100% sure where this is going since it's just been acquired by Epic Games, so we'll kind of see what direction this goes, um, but I think they're both fairly easy to use in terms of creating renderings. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. What, how do you feel about each program and their export settings? Do you have a preference? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.